budget. Approximately 22% of U.S. women have suffered from partner violence in their lifetime, often without seeking help. I didn't know what else to do. Here are four cases where the police intervened. See if these suspects face severe legal consequences for their actions. On May 18th, 2021, the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office received a call about a man failing to comply with an injunction. Deputies arrived and found 26-year-old Zachary Packard in his vehicle near a residence. Watch as the officers question him and observe his behavior. Hey. Zachary? Yes, ma'am. What you doing here, man? Hmm. What you doing here? Um, about to go to work. Don't you have an injunction? Yeah, he said. Uh, and what's that injunction say? It says stay away from her. Okay, and how many feet are you allowed in the residence? Uh, I think it's 500 or 1,000 or something. Okay. How close do you think you are to the residence? Too close. What, what are you doing, man? I'm just trying to go to work. I'm. So why are you parking here if you ain't supposed it's to? It's right down the road. Why are you parking here if you ain't supposed to, man? You're wrong. You know you have an injunction. Yes, ma'am. You know you ain't supposed to be here. Where, you, where do you live at? I live, I've been staying with my mama. Why didn't you park in front of your mama's house? I have, I, I have been parking in front of my mama's house. I just, I'm right here for a little bit until I go to work. So you, instead of staying in front of your mama's house, you wanted to come here and violate your injunction? No, I'm not right in. Well, then what'd you want to do? I just want to go to work. I'm trying, ma'am. I just want to go to work. Yeah, but it's not looking like you're trying. You got your ID on you? Yes, I do. All right. I don't even know if I have it on me. I got a card. This one? I'm just trying to go to work. Mm -hmm. I work at Big Stuff Moving. I get that. I get that. You should have been parking at your mama's house, not here. There's no excuse. You know you got an injunction. You know? Go ahead, turn around for me, okay? The suspect caught the deputies off guard and ran, leading to a pursuit. Officers chased after him. Seven five, we still got running in the back. Meanwhile, the other deputies discussed their plan to capture the suspect with their new asset. So he actually, I, I was right here at the wood line, uh -huh. on the roadway. I saw him pop out between these two on that side. Uh -huh. He saw me and immediately came this way. So I hightailed it over here, come around, and by the time I come around, nothing. I've already cleared over here. Um, Tim's walked right here. I got out of my truck, walked back over there to check. Uh, he wears red and blue uh, shorts under his gray pants. Yeah, that could have been him. 41 up here. Anyway, he came this way between these two. I don't know if he ran that way or what, but when I come around, I never once saw him other than right there. So, but I've already entered and, and cleared. While other deputies tracked the suspect, the victim recounted her fear and how he terrorized her and her son. We might have found him. We just wanted your key in case, cause okay, we didn't, we didn't want to break down your door. I get you got someone to fix it, but you know. He, so when y'all go in there, I mean, he has busted everything. The, my bedroom is destroyed. Like my clothes are everywhere. His, well, I have like rolling racks that hold my clothes. He's destroyed it all. He's been here all night. I don't or know. you don't know. I have no idea. You so came I, out to work. I came out. No, I was bringing my son. Uh, my mom picks my son up for school in the mornings, and I was bringing him out, and the truck was here. I slowly walked up, and I saw that he was in the driver's seat sleeping, and I went back inside. I told my son, I said, Aiden, grab your cell phone, get your shoes on. We actually went out the back door, jumped the fence, and came this way because it's privacy fence. Um, we came that way, and I, my mom lives on Bethany by Oak Street. Because I was scared that he was gonna come in and like rage or whatever. He beats the out of me, so that's why. So I there, if you jump the fence, there's a way to run around that way. Um. So 
if you go behind my house and jump the fence, her property is like an L. Yeah. So it goes this way, and I then it only comes out this happen. way. So he would have to come out that way. Any other way, he's headed towards the woods into 85. I bet you he's going to No, he couldn't. If he's, if he's got to come out. by the time he got there. So you might have just crossed paths. Because he didn't run this way. His safe haven's going to be his way. mom's. It's possible y'all cross paths. Because if she just said if it goes to Auburn, the only other way was he would have had to jump back. When yeah, I ran you, that way, I would have seen him jump back. Yard, it just leads to the woods. Is there a crap door in the house? Do what? Is there a crap door in the house that you can hide in? The only door, I mean, there's a, a closet in the hallway that's got a hot water heater. Um, and then there's a closet in the hallway that's got blankets and stuff like that if you need to pull out. By chance, there. did you leave your back door unlocked, anything unlocked? There is a bathroom window that is broke. It, like, it doesn't lock, so it's always his way in. He will literally... He always goes through the bathroom window? Always. He will bust... I literally bust his thing out. Okay. I mean, he's... My house is destroyed. My body is destroyed. That's it for me. Like, I need my life back. I'm good. I'm 90. He's like a freaking Hulk and he's out. Yeah. According to Okaloosa County Jail records, Packard was arrested on May 11th for battery and simple assault. He posted bail and was released the next day. Let's listen further to the victim's account. So on the primary on the truck, the tag's mine, the insurance, and the lender. The truck yours? The truck is mine, but his name's on the registration. So, but the tag and the insurance, everything's mine. I'm the primary. But the if primary. the truck's yours, all his name is is on the tag? No, his name's just on the registration. It, Which the is tag the, is actually mine. Like, he, But what I'm saying is when I run the tag, it's going to come back to him, not you. No, it'll come back. I don't know if it'll come back to me or him or both of us or whatever, because both of our names are on the registration. If he ran that way, how do you get another pair of shorts on? Well, I want Might have been under his sweatpants. He, under his sweatpants. He has some red and blue tie-dye shorts on. They're red and blue tie dye, and they're under his gray freaking sweatpants. Yes, they're red and blue tie dye. Four hours later, the suspect was finally taken into custody, exhausted and thirsty. <coughs> lay down on the ground. You lay down on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I can't breathe. Till it's seven. I got him detained. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry, man. God. Do me a favor. Stand yeah. up. All right. I can't. My legs are locking up. I need water. I will get you some water. Okay. If you get in my I'm truck. Try, I'm going to try. Hold on. All right. One, two, three. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm locking up, man. I can't find no more. No, I'll give up to y'all. Do what? No, I'll give up to you. Nope, we don't. Okay, come this way. How do you want to do this? Let me get over. We're okay, going to see if that gate opens if first. Take this, I'll hop it real quick for you. And I'll let y'all put him back on, I promise. Dude, you ain't hop right now. It is. He's got it right here, buddy. Oh, my stickers. Thank y'all. Step over. You got him? You got him. Where are we going, brother? We're going right, right there. Asthma's getting me. I've been running all day. I ain't got no water. I'm locking up. I can't run for y'all no more. I'm locking up bad, man. I don't believe it. Oh. I'm locking up, man. You got some water? I don't. That's not... Please, man. We'll get you some as soon as we can. Please. Please. All right, I'm gonna read you something, all right? Yes, sir, go ahead. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Yes, sir. Do you understand these rights? Yes, what am I being arrested for? During his arrest, he said why he ran and acknowledged violating the injunction. So okay. Else? Where'd you get the bicycle from? Chased it up all the ground. Where at? I was at by someone's trash can. It was by someone's trash can. So the chain looked a little rusty. Where was the where was the bicycle at? It was right down the road from here. What the house look like? No, it was I'm not sure. It was by the trash can. I just grabbed it and took off on it. 
Okay. What'd you run for? Because I don't, I don't want to go to jail, man. I don't. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Like I don't want to go to jail. I don't feel like. So it, you ran because you didn't want to go to jail. Yes, ma'am. But you violate your injunction yeah, order. Right yes, ma'am. I understand. So you know you're not supposed to be within 500 feet of her house, correct? Yes, ma'am. And you were sitting in your truck in front of her house. Yes, ma'am. I have I have nowhere to sleep really, so I slept right there. Okay. And that's that's the honest truth. I slept out there. And then you ran for me because you didn't want to go to jail. Yes, ma'am. I just got out of jail. I just Where, now. Where'd you get that bike from? I got it from right down the road. Somebody's house? Yeah, I guess it was just somebody. I dropped somebody's trash can, so I just picked it up. Trash can? Yes, ma'am. Like how in the trash can? Like sitting beside the, well, what is the green can? You sure some kid didn't lay it there? I'm not sure if he laid it there or not. I just picked it up and rode off on it. So you probably stole someone's bike too. I may have. Yes, ma'am. You know where you about? You took it from? Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I mean, I, if I could go back down that way, I would know. You just grabbed the house for me. I'm not sure what the house looked like. How far down that way? I want to say it had, had some balls in the front yard. Some balls in the front yard? Yeah, like a tennis, like a, like a soccer ball and a basketball. Okay. Can I get some water, please? You can get it when you get to the jail. Like, I'm locking up, like... Sergeant James asked Packard about the deputy's behavior during his arrest and if he had any complaints. Mind if I talk to you for a minute? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm Sergeant James with Sheriff's Office. The reason why I want to talk to you has nothing to do with what's going on. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Uh, the incident that occurred at the house when the deputy tried to yes, you, uh, and you, you apparently, what, can, you, can you tell me a little bit what happened? I was in the back of the vehicle and he told me that I was being detained. Okay. And then he come back, they went out there and dug for evidence and they okay. pretty much they pretty much put charges on me. That's what okay. I would say. They put charges on me, and then they come back to the vehicle and told me I was being arrested. Okay. After I was told I was being arrested, I started banging my head on the window. Okay. But Your what? deputy opened the door, uh -huh. and he slammed me on the ground. Just yeah. now? No, not just now. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm talking about earlier today when the deputy made contact with you. With this deputy right here? Yes. Yes. No, she when when, when she, she said um, you were under arrest? She said that I was, she didn't say I was under arrest. Okay. She said she tried to make me turn around. Is that necessary? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm sorry. No, she she asked me to turn around, and when she did, I took off. Okay. Did you snatch away from her? I mean, I I just pulled away from her. Yes, sir. I didn't do nothing forcefully you, towards her. Okay. Were you hit by any taser probes? Because she shot a taser at you. Um, may have been. I'm not sure. Okay. You mind if I check real quick? You can go ahead. Was it in the stomach? The Don't back? The side? Get, if it would, it would have been on that side and over here if I got hit with one. All right. Can you can you kind of roll? Without coming out of the vehicle, these handcuffs really tied. Uh, yeah, I know. All right, I don't see no probes sticking out of you. I don't see no puncture holes in you. Go ahead and turn around, and face that way. All right. Hey, so, uh, but you're okay though, right? You you didn't get tased at no, all. No, sir. I'm just. You're just kind of. Really, I'm I'm emotionally f***ed up. I really am. Okay. I mean, I love that girl over there, and I don't. I mean, I I want to be with her. Okay. And that's where I want to be. I mean, so, so do you think the deputy's actions today about trying to take you into custody and all that was was no, man, no, sir. I had I had an injunction. I mean, I have court in two days. Okay. I, I I know better to be over there like okay. that. Okay. All right. Well, give us a few minutes. We'll get you over to the jail. Yes, sir. You can go to Oh, uh, come on, dude. Yeah, get that too. Yeah, go ahead. He expressed his emotional distress, fear of being jailed, and his desire to rekindle his relationship. Suppose step out of the vehicle. It ain't like I said. It ain't nothing against y'all, man. I just. Up to 10 years in prison, man. And I, don't face wanna, this one. I don't hate being in jail. You said it's in this pocket right here? Yes, sir. It's in that pocket right in there. You got short. These are shorts on? Yes, sir. Those are I'm going to pull these pants down yes, a little sir. bit, okay? Hang tight. We'll get you down to the jail, okay? Yes, sir. Can I get some water? Or... Yeah, as soon as we get down there. Hold on. We don't have none on us right now. Hey, I'm sorry. So you said you didn't need no medical attention or anything like that? No, I'm all right, man. I okay. just, like I said, I'm emotionally f***ed up. I just... Okay. I just, like I said, I mean, I didn't want y'all to when, do when, all this. I did man. I just want, I wanted to tell her bye if I could. You know what I mean? Right. I wanted to at least tell her bye if I have to go back to jail because, her. her I mean, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna. Oh, we're just hang tight for us, okay? <laughs> trying to face really, that man. way. I wasn't trying to do all this. Face shit, that man. way. I had work this morning. Face and that way. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. No, one thing is another, man. God loves. I didn't do 10, prison, yeah. 10 years in prison. Uh, I just can't, I can't win. Zachary Packard was taken into custody by the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. He faced multiple charges, including violating a domestic violence injunction, fleeing, possession of illegal substances, resisting arrest, 
and felony theft. What are your thoughts on Packard's reasons for violating his injunction? Do you think the sheriff's office was too lenient after all the trouble he caused? Share your thoughts in the comments section. In this body cam video, Columbus police were dispatched following a passerby's report of a domestic dispute inside a house. Let's listen to the actual call recording that prompted police action. This man has this woman on the ground. It looks like he's hitting her. Initial police reports indicate that despite the suspect's intoxicated and combative behavior during his arrest, no charges were filed as his partner denied any violence. However, he was arrested due to outstanding warrants. Hey guys, chill out. No, I don't want anything to do with you. Doing, man? No Good. Way. What's going on? Don't... Leave me alone. Ah, Leave dude. me alone. Stop. Stop screaming. Please go Stop. away. No. Stop. Hey, bro. Bro. <laughs> I'm not your bro. Okay. Please. Stand here and talk to me. This is my house. Time. I'm not your bro. Okay. Right now, Just go away. I have a pretty good reason to be here. <laughs> so you, you need to relax. You have a good reason to be here. Go I'm not away. your bro. Okay. You need to go You need to go give me space. Oh, Back off. Shh. Let me sit right here. No. You need to listen. What's your to name, me. man? No. My you name is Go to Yourself. That's no. okay. my name. Leave me alone. Um, They're going to send you to jail. You're stupid. I don't no. want to go away. If you would just listen to me, I don't have anything to, to say. Do is talk to you. Me. I don't have anything to say to you. Dude, okay. relax. No. no. Look, relax. I'm not touching. Dude, relax. Dude, don't no. touch me. Relax. Taylor. I didn't touch her. You're not walking past me. I'm not touching her. I saw you touching her. Listen. She's my wife. I'm trying to talk to her. Okay. Relax. Please, Stop. Please don't, don't. Okay, I didn't break the, the law. Please, please don't, don't touch me. Okay, turn around. I didn't Taylor, break the turn law. Turn around. Taylor, no, Taylor, please. Please, please, don't, no. please, please don't. Back. I'm not doing anything. Okay, that's fine. Just Put your palms together. Are you serious right now? This is what you want. This is what you want. I didn't even call, man. This is what you want. Please Look, we're gonna walk out to the street. I got you, man. What's in your hand? What's in my hand? All right. Nothing's in my hand, you stupid bitch. Right. As he was escorted to the squad car, the suspect questioned the officer's actions and continued to assert his innocence. Are you serious? Dude, you need to relax. No, you need to shut the up, you punk ass bitch. Okay. I'll make everything worse you did it relax to do is talk to you officers struggled to detain the increasingly aggressive suspect he suddenly became emotional after hearing his wife's pleas to the police go and grab a seat for what you need to sit in the car why because i told you to can you tell me why why am i because right now you're being detained under four. it's a domestic violence yeah, investigation I, domestic. I can't do the investigation until you sit in the car i haven't been okay sit in the car no, it's an investigation have, you're not under arrest but you're being I'm detained not under arrest and i cannot Listen. sit on the curb no you're going to sit in the car and then we're going to get to you okay no, because get in the car you're not listening sit down in the car Dude. get in the car are you kidding me right now you i don't fucking do nothing are you kidding get me? in the car this I'm gonna saw you, stupid! Please. Get the f your pig on me, Jenny! This is please what you do! Please stop! 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 Go back to the house. I'll f you a second. Suspecting his family's pleas were affecting his emotional state, officers intervened when the suspect became a danger to himself. I sit down. I ain't trying to be in the back of your car, man. I didn't do. Sh we'll get another. I didn't fucking touch her. I didn't fucking hurt her. Go talk to her. Find out where, where this. Jenny, all I was trying to do is talk to you. I didn't see him hitting her. I saw him pushing her around and holding on to her. One or two, go four. I head that way. I didn't. Dude, relax. You see, you're no, acting you like a child. The only I'm not asking this. So no, cut it you out. guys are trying to. You manhandle me. Nobody doing anything to you. Tighten my cuffs. I asked you to we just chill out. Cups. I just asked you to stop putting them and on. And then my... you slam your head on the cruiser. That's yeah, real smart. Yeah, because you're like, all I did was ask you you're to just. You're by yourself in the car and you're slamming your head in the wind. Yeah. That's really Mother smart. I'm crazy. Okay. All I did was ask you to quit pulling on my cuffs because it hurt. And I calmed down. You don't. You're in the car and nobody else is in the car and you started acting crazy. Because I don't need to be in the Car. I didn't break any laws. I didn't assault anybody. I didn't do shit. So 
you. We're still trying to figure out what's going on, and we can't because you're acting all nuts. Yeah. You can suck my. See, you're not helping things. No, then you can tell him that I was just trying to talk to you. Cops. You want to see if his ID was in the wallet? Yeah. Take me to jail. I don't give a fuck. I got warrants. Take me to jail. Yeah. We had a fucking argument. I didn't fucking hit her. You walked up. Restraining somebody, I already know, is not assault. While the suspect hurled accusations and bragged, the officers ignored his outbursts and continued collecting evidence for their case. Well, how come whenever her. we restrain you, you try to say we were assaulting you? You were. We were restraining you. No, bullshit. Restraining is not assault. Get shut up. Is it bullshit, Jenny? You know all I was you trying did this. to do was This is all you. you did. Everything here shut was because you did it. Shut up, I'm not talking it. to you. Am I talking to you? Then shut your You are up. talking to me because no, I'm all closest not. to you. Shut the f up. I'm talking to my wife. What you're doing is you're making I'm talking worse. to my wife. I'm you not talking what? to you. If I would have come I'm up. I'm not talking to you. Then stop I'm screaming. Not you know what you're doing? You. You're screaming at the whole neighborhood. No, so I'm screaming at the whole neighborhood. The police. You. Okay. I'm trying to talk to my wife. Are you my wife? Huh? Are you my wife? No, see, now you don't want to talk to me. Cause you're a little Okay. Look, sucking little bitch. All I was trying to do was talk to you, Jenny. I walked into the bedroom, calm, cool, and collective, and tried to talk to you. I need to talk to my wife. Jenny! You're not gonna accomplish anything. Huh? I'm not talking to you. Is your name Jenny? I'm the one that's got Are you control bald headed is your name Jenny? I've got a beautiful head. Is here. your bo hey, hey, your fucking little fucking gay ass and trash stash and shit okay. like that? Turn your fucking camera on. I don't give it's a been fucking the whole time. Fuck you good? Okay, it's, it's gonna, been on. It's gonna make you look really cool. good. Cool, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I don't give a. Fuck. Send me to jail. Fuck you. By letting him vent his frustration and anger, officers slowly uncovered the root cause of the domestic dispute. Did I punch you? Did I hit you? Did I do anything but try to restrain you? No. She put her hands around my throat. What about that? Why is the dude always the one who gets in f***ing trouble? Huh? Why is it? I got full custody of my f***ing children, but I'm the one who f***ing gets the f***ing dirty look because I'm f***ing angry and upset over some b Realizing his indifferent attitude was working against him, the suspect suddenly changed his demeanor, hoping for kinder treatment from the officers. Look, I'm, 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 not, I'm not struggling. I'm not doing nothing. I, I, please, I'll... I okay, let's go have a seat in the car. I don't want to sit in the car, man. You're going to ride because in the car I, when we go to jail. Okay, that's fine. So we might as well get in now. I don't want to get in... Please, I'm not, I can't, my wife. I can't get you in jail if I'm standing out here dealing with you. Look, Let's I'll get you in the car. Listen, I'll get the paperwork done. We'll listen, put you in jail. It'll be easy peasy. What's your name, sir? Can I please turn around and talk to you in your eyes? No. You can hold my hands. No, I don't want to hold your hands. I'll sit down. Can I sit down and talk sit to you? Sit down in, your in eyes? my car. Can I sit down and talk to you in your eyes? Please, sit I'll down. Sit, I'll sit Stop. Right you're, what you're doing is you're being ridiculous. I'm not trying you're to. You're sitting down, it. standing up. It's not about resisting. It's about just being an adult. Okay. And I'm just going with the program. So we're going to go sit in the car. I want to talk to you. Sit in the car. Come on. Can I please? No, please. Stop. No, let's get in the car. Please. Please After he gets in the car, I, I might let him talk to you. And, until you get in the car and you start being then reasonable, I, you're, you I don't have, get any privileges. Can I have ten words with her? Get in the car. Can I, can get in the car. Can I, can I, can I, listen, ten words with her? I swear to God, I'll let you talk to her if you get in the car and you're cool. You, you swear? I do. Okay, let it's me all mind. on video. Get in the car. Just let me look. Mind. Okay, I will let you talk to her if you get in the car and you, you start being an adult. You swear? I do. Get in the you car. Swear, I already said I swear. I don't need him, baby. Get in. Give us a second. Don't right. start acting foolish. I'm not and, going to my... and I will bring okay, her look. over. Can I at least have fresh air? Just leave it, leave it open. No. I'm not moving. I'm I got to be able moving. to talk to my partners. I'm not I'm gonna moving. I'm going to shut the door. If I'm you not... prove that you can be an adult, then I will, I'll be nice to you, okay? As the investigation progressed, officers uncovered his outstanding warrants, and a key witness revealed the truth about the suspect and victim's relationship. <sighs> Any warrants? Yeah, verify them. What are they? Traffic. So, no, he's a friend. Yeah, Basically, he's with her. Like him, the two of them are friends. 
they were hanging out together earlier. Hey, she yeah. sent him a text message and was like, hey, like, you're or whatever. And he was like, dude, just let it go, just let it go. And he was like, no, I gotta go talk to her. She's my wife. So he drove him over here or they got over here somehow. And they start are they legit married or is this? He says they are married and they have three kids together. It's what she said. She's like, we're married, we've been married, we've been together for three years, we have three kids. Have you said no shirt and red shorts? The police kept their promise, allowing him a moment to speak with his wife. Officers assured his wife he would be in good hands and explained the legal process and potential charges he might face. And I told you I didn't want to talk because you had been drinking. Did I not? I told you not to come back tonight. I told you to come back in the morning. All right, buddy, we let you talk to her. No, please. I'm not done, please. No, we're, please. we're not gonna do this all night, man. I'm not. I'm not arguing. I'm Listen, not fighting. you got you got some minor warrants, okay? I, exactly. You can probably bond out please, in the morning. Please, if you can give me, please let me hug her or let her hug me. No, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, you'll see her tomorrow, probably. I figure it's not a big deal. Listen. No, you won't. Listen, if you got a debit card, you could bond yourself out in probably a few hours. So just relax. I don't care. Sorry. All right, hon. If I didn't care, I would have. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank All right. you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I can't. Please. Okay. No. Go ahead and walk up back to the house. Right. Thank you. No, well, we'll leave. We'll take the take him to jail with okay. him, and he can they can put it in his property. That way, when he gets out, he can have he some has shoes. His shoes. Okay. The Columbus police took the suspect into custody due to his bench warrants for traffic violations. His wife declined to press charges. Um, they're going to give you the information for getting protection orders and stuff if you choose to do that. I'm going to take a report um, just with whatever information I have, okay? Uh, the report's going to say that you're not cooperating as far as filing charges. That's your, that's your right, okay? Um, if you change your mind or if something happens, you can still go on this report and you can take action if you need to, okay? What's your question? Am I being charged? No, we're not charging you with anything new tonight. You're just taking me Just taking you on the warrant. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are we taking you on the warrant? I, but no, no, just, just, we're not, we're humor not, me, no, but humor me. We're not charging you with a crime because she's not cooperating. Just humor me. The, the, they're minor bench warrants for traffic tickets. Mm -hmm. I understand. But why are you taking me to jail for them? Because we have to. You don't have to. I've had numerous cops let me go. Mm -hmm. Well, the city has started firing police officers for not serving minor bench warrants. So now we have to take everybody to jail on them. Really? Yeah, I swear. I mean, I, I, they, I they, believe you. I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm sorry no. I was unruly. They charged and they uh, prosecuted one of my good friends because he didn't serve a minor misdemeanor warrant on a prostitute that was walking down the street. And he got fired. Okay, one question then. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you loosen these a little? They hurt. Yeah, what we're going to do is the car that's behind us, they're actually the ones that are going to take you to jail because they're two officers. When we get down the road, we're going to get you out and put you in that car. We'll adjust the cuffs when we get you out of the car, okay? Can I just talk to my wife briefly one more minute? I already, I already let you do that, man. I, I, bet that was super I wasn't cool. fighting with her. I just, please, can I just no, tell it's, her? I you're not going to accomplish anything. It's, no, I don't want to accomplish anything. No. She, she can hear you telling you that I, I, you love I her. Literally, so. I just want to tell her I love her. She knows. Her. She knows. Please, man. Come on. You're married. I, I am. I am married. You have arguments. Can I please? I don't have arguments like you were having. I, I control myself a lot better. Okay. Well, I I have I have issues. I'm seeking counseling as in the in okay. the process of something happening. Based on the body cam video, should the wife have filed charges against her husband? Share your thoughts and leave a comment. On February 17, 2024, officers from the Ocala Police Department were dispatched to the Magnolia Trace Apartments following a report of a domestic incident. Watch as they handle a tense situation, seeking to defuse the conflict and assist those involved. 14, 12, 14, 15. What am I supposed to do? I didn't try to hurt her at all. She kept hitting by my head, me, punching me in my fucking eye. I didn't know what else to do. All I did was put her to Stay the for ground. A second, bro. Yes, sir.
I will do whatever I need to do to not go to jail because I honestly do not try to put my hands on that woman. All right, come all. down here and let's have a, let's have yes, a talk. Yes, sir. Whatever y'all need to do because I did not try to hurt that woman. Every time this happens, she tries to make it seem like I'm the fucking monster hurting her, and she always puts her hands on me. I have multiple people here to tell you that. Whatever I need to do. Sir, so you can't cancel any other units around over here. Alright, let's go into the laundry room. She smashed my eye and I was freaking out. As officers listened to the suspect's account, he described his struggles with his fiancée, insisting his actions were purely defensive and not intended to harm her. So I was like, look, I have not been hurting you. We talk about this every day. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to calm down. But every day we talk about this, I give him my phone, I'm like, look, I am not hurting you. I am not cheating on you. And then she runs out, and then she starts packing her things, and then she starts pushing past me. And every time I try to stop her, she always hits me. At this point, when I had her, if I may, I just had her like oh, that. I wasn't going to... It's... You don't need to show her like that. Sorry. It's just she had butted me really hard, and it just kept hitting me in the eye and stuff. I was partially blind for a little bit right here, and it just freaking me out. I kept telling her, stop. I've been telling her, stop the whole time. This is not the first time the cops have come out for this, because... First time she got taken away for this, and we have been trying to stop. All right, who is she to you? She is my fiance. Okay, you guys live together? Yes, sir. We've been living together for about four years now. All right, I'm gonna read you something because I'd like to ask you more in-depth questions. Okay, obviously, obviously you're in handcuffs, so you're not free to go. So therefore, you are detained. In order for me to ask you questions, I have to read you your rights. Okay. Whatever you need to do. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish. You can decide at any time next to you these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes, sir. All right. So walk me through what happened from the jump. So the jump is she got home, and she thought... What time did she get home? She got home, what time is it now? 6.15. About like 5.43. Okay. So she got home, and like I said, every time she gets home, she leaves. She is overthinking. She very inside her head, always, like, every time she gets home, she has to check my phone. She has to look through my Facebook. She has to look through my Gmail. Every time. And I tell her, I'm like, look, I am not cheating on you. I am not hurting you. There is no one else. And then she's like, well, then you're watching. And I'm like, look, I am not sitting here hurting you. I'm playing games. I'm hanging out with the cats, waiting for you to come home from your friend's house. And after that, she gets more upset with me because of the fact that she's like, this is not the first time we've talked about this. So she doesn't believe me, of course. So she runs out to the living room. She sits down. And then after that, she starts getting up and getting in my face again, talking about, oh, I'm going to go with somebody else. And then there was somebody that she went to meet up with. The suspect detailed his partner's escalating aggression, admitting he watched an adult video. He felt her threats to sleep with another man were unfair, leading to a violent argument. And that's where this whole thing blew up, because she met this guy named Duncan the other day, all because I was watched, I did watch this time at that point, and it was, it hurt her. So she went out and thought it was cool to go hang out with a guy named Duncan, and I got really upset, and I told her, look, that's not cool. If you want us to be together, how do I know that you're not going to get here and talk to him or talk to another guy just because you think that I'm cheating on you or watching you? And then after that, she starts getting really upset with me, brushing me past me and pushing me around. And I'm like, look, you need to stop. I'm not trying to fight with you. I'm just being honest. Like, you want to sit here and tell me you don't want to be with me. I don't care. I don't want you all this stuff. But I'm sitting here telling you I do love you and I do care and I want us to work out. So why is it that we have to argue? And then after that, we started just getting brushed past. And it's just every time I try to, I do try to stop and I take her stuff. And I'm like, look. Just please stop. And then she gets really mad at me. And at that point, she'll like slam me against the wall. And I'm like, look, stop. And we'll be pushing against each other. And at that point, she starts headbutting me, slapping me really hard, spitting in my face. And that's where the eye issue started. I started freaking out. I'm like, look, you need to stop. I'm freaking out. I can't see right. And then that's when she started the whole call. She came out. The water was already wet. So we had grabbed each other, and she fell on the ground. Based on the suspect's account, Officers believe that the relationship was deteriorating, marked by a severe breakdown in communication and mutual trust. Now, we did fall. She's like, you put your whole body weight on me. And then she was like this, and I was on the other side. And then when she got up, she just ran to the bathroom and locked herself in. She didn't let me see her or anything like that. So I had no idea what was going on. Now, we had a whole bunch of stuff 
on the ground because you're already taking stuff out of each other's hands and pushing each other around. That is on. So when you say she's brushing past you, is that because she's trying to pack a bag? No, that is just being her being mean. Like when she gets to a certain way where she's talking to me and she knows it, and I'll be standing in the doorway and she just tackles me through the doorway just because she wants to get to the other side. And then I'll be are like, are you like? Point. Blocking her from... No, that's the thing. Everybody says, oh, you're doing this, but I'm really not like, okay. So, if I may... Sorry, I'm just really anxiety. So, basically, I'll stand in the door, it's just casually leaning on it. I'll be like, look, just talk to me in this now. And then, if not, then she'll push me past. It doesn't matter. She acts like I'm a ghost. But, but is it a one... So only one person can pretty much walk through at one time, and if, she, and if, you're, if you're standing there, there, yes. But then that's the thing is I get out of the way half the time, and she doesn't let me. I just simply try. I'm not even trying to push her past or hold her still or anything like that. I just simply like she pushes me and then it gets into that. I'm like, why are you pushing me? So then, when she brushes past you, how does she get her injuries? Well, how does she get her injuries? Her, the injury, like I said, that she got right there on her head, that came from when she was coming out of the bathroom. Because at this point, we had been slapping, she had grabbed some stuff, and I had to grab some stuff, and then she kept pushing stuff out of my hand, kept pushing stuff, and I grabbed her stuff, and I'm like, please stop, just wait. And I'm like, just wait. Um, can he wait, like, 15 minutes? I'm sorry, and I'm like, just wait, you know, because I'm not trying to fight this whole time. And yeah, we were screaming and yelling at each other, and it scares her, and I know that. I'm just, I'm freaking out because of the fact that she keeps hitting me. And the fact that you, she keeps hitting me, she'll get up on me, and then it's like she starts slapping me. I'm like, why are you slapping me? So at one point, you know, she slapped me three times, and I did slap her once back because of the eye issue, and I'm not going to lie on that Where's she slap you? After recording the suspect's statement, officers shifted their focus to the fiancé, who had her own stories to share about her partner. All right, what, what happened today? It all started with an argument over, like, were you looking up girls on your phone again? And then that's when he got aggressive and he slammed his phone. He goes, here, if you want this, I'm not doing this shit today. And I'm like, I'm just asking you a question because I'm scared you're going to hurt me again. And then it all started with, like, calling each other names. He called me a first. So I came out here and he's like, if you want to fight, I'm just done at this point. You need to leave and then that's when I started getting my stuff out of the closet with the suitcase and that's when he slammed and starts pushing on me and I'm like why are you pushing on me and then it like escalated and I was trying to go to the bathroom grab more stuff underneath the sink and then that's when he pushed me and he just slammed it down and he starts pushing me around and stuff like that and I know he went and punched me so I punched it back out of scare to get him off me and then it happened so fast where he pushed me again when I was trying to walk away and grab more of my like pick it up and then he put his whole head, body, his whole hand and everything and that's when I heard my head crack or something and I started bleeding and then I started freaking out and that's when I called. Where did that happen? Right over here. Um, he did push me more before I called in the bathroom and that's when, like I said, when I hurt my toe. So Was was he like just pushing you in your back or pushing you like... All over, like I feel like my shoulders, like he was also grabbing on me and I'm like, just stop because when I was trying to get away I said, I'm just, he told me to leave. And then, of course, he tries to push me on the bed because last time when he did, he held me down before in mm -hmm. the past. And that's when I call and we have the cops come here and everything. Okay. But every time I try to pack my shit, that's when he goes crazy and berserk. And that's when he starts to grab on my shit, grabs on me, and he starts pushing on me. Okay. And then when he first punched you, was it closed fist? Or was it like a slap? I don't know. I think it was a slap first, and then he's like pushing on me again, and I was like, "Get off me!" And then I did slap him because like he wouldn't. He's like when he comes around me and I try to get away from him, he follows me, and mm -hmm. he likes to push on me and everything. And I'm like, "He want everyone to think I'm abusive, and your family doesn't know that you can also get this sh and scary at the same time when I try to leave, and then you think, oh, everything's okay.' So I've been starting to distance myself." I'll go outside in a heated argument, and I just came out here, and then that's when he came out and started talking more. So he starts getting closer and starts yelling, and that's when I start freaking out and starts packing my shit. and said, I'm going to call because someone to get, get me. Feeling threatened and violated, she sought help from law enforcement. She explained their violent altercation, justifying her actions as self-preservation. I don't know if he was pulling my hair or whatever, but that's when I heard something pop or crack or something. And I started going to the bathroom. And then that's when I started grabbing my stuff, and he's like, you don't need this And I looked in the mirror, and I'm like, oh my god, you caused blood, and I started freaking out.
she has a laceration to the right side of her eye. She says she heard a crack. She's being pinned down. It feels really like hit it over here. Here, I wear hair extensions. Okay, okay. It's inside. I don't want it to go out. Does your bite feel normal? Like. And when I talk, it hurts like all. Then the officers questioned the suspect to clarify details based on the statements they had received. All right. So how would she have gotten? That injury. That's what I was trying to tell you. Like I said, there was water bowl, water bowl, and the cap bowl. Mm -hmm. She came out and already kicked the water bowl over, so the tire was already wet. Mm -hmm. When we had gotten it, I had tried to honestly when she came out. I had a hand on her stuff. I was like, look, talk to me. I'm not trying to make you leave. That's when she tried to jerk it out of my hand, and that's when we both honestly fell to the ground. She went like this. She hit her head so she tried just to like leave. that. So she was trying to leave, and you're saying she did basically slipped and did that herself? She grabbed the bag. She grabbed the bag and tried to rip it off while I had it in my hand. Well, I was trying to honestly ask her to stop. I wasn't trying to make her not be able to leave. I just wanted us to be able to talk and stop for a minute. That is all and calm down. Okay. She usually always leaves. That's why she has the car. I don't have her keys. And any time that we have an issue, I just sit on the staircase. This time, I didn't have that liability because she went to the bathroom. And that's when she was bleeding, and I didn't even know. I didn't even see that she had that issue on her. And that's when she was already on the phone with you guys. Because I wanted to leave, and she said that I couldn't because she had called you guys. So I was like, okay, what do you want me to do? Okay. After hearing both sides, the officer outlined the legal process and potential actions against the suspect. Surprisingly, he remained calm and cooperative throughout the explanation. So here, here's the deal, okay? Obviously, you admitted that you've hit her. She's saying that you basically forced her head down into the tile. But I did not. Just, I understand just listen to me, listen. okay? I have to go off of her injuries, okay? Mm -hmm. Those are some significant injuries. I don't know that even me slipping on a tile and just simply my head hitting the ground, that I'm going to be bleeding like that, okay? And I'm not saying that, you know, she's more different than I am or, no, you know, it, we're, we're all different. But I don't think a simple slip and head hitting the ground, mm -hmm. that's going to cause as a result of that. So I have to go off the face of what I believe happened. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she has some significant injuries. She's going to need some stitches. I just need to know what I can do to protect myself at this point. Because, like I said, if I, I don't have anything. I have no money. Is this your no parents? Insurance. That's my parent right here. It's my sister-in-law. Okay. Well, this it happened multiple times. You, you're probably going to have a no contact order with her yes, sir. Um, once you get out of jail. How so, many days am I going to be in jail? You'll probably see a judge tomorrow morning. Okay. And they'll probably set a bond. He'll set some conditions for you. Um, you're most likely not going to be allowed back at the apartment. Right. Probably going to have to go stay with dad or friend or sister somewhere else. Um, en route to the detention facility, the suspect revealed their ongoing domestic issues and asked if prior incidents would impact his case. Normally, if, if it's not domestic related, you're granted a bond. Um, but because it is domestic mm -hmm. and the likelihood of is their... It, domestic is not felony, though, is it? So in this case, it, it would be considered a felony, and the reason it's considered so I could a felony. Be looking at long-term jail time. Possibly, but that's that's, that's for the judge. that's for the court processes to play out. Initially, the Ocala Police Department charged the suspect with domestic violence. However, the case was later dismissed and all charges were dropped. Why do you think the charges against the suspect were dropped? Share your theories, comments, and opinions in the comments section below. On October 29th, 2023, officers from the Wyoming Police Department responded to a domestic disturbance involving one of their own, Sergeant Michael Matheson of the St. Bernard Police Department. Watch how they handled the arrest of a fellow law enforcer. Put your hands up! Hold the channel. Holding the channel. Put your hands up! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Turn around, hands behind your back. The sergeant was taken aback and confused as he watched police officers swarm the gas station, loudly barking orders at him. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Stop right there. He uh, oh, no. got out of the truck, yeah. What's up? Down!
down on your knees. Just give us a second. Get down on your. Put your hands behind your back. Behind the other side. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Keep your hands up. An eagle-eyed officer noticed the sergeant holding a suspicious object, prompting extra caution in managing the situation. Left hand too. He's got something in his left hand. We can't see what it is. Put your hands up. Put your left hand in the air. You're under arrest. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands up. All right, Dawson, move up. Yep. Keep, Keep your, your hands, hands out of your pockets. Put your hands up. Despite his refusal to comply, officers issued a stern warning. Keep your hands out of your pocket. Turn. You're going to get tased. <laughs> Keep your hands out of your pocket. Go ahead. After defusing the tense standoff, the responding officers were surprised to learn that the suspect was actually a fellow law enforcer. Here, I'm a cop. I'm not going to fight you. Like, or an no. OIC I'm not going to fight you, dude. I'm not going to fight you. I swear to God, there's nobody in my Hello, sir. I'm not going to fight you. Listen to me. I'm not going to fight you. During his arrest, his fellow officers observed the sergeant's anxious behavior and incoherent thoughts. Well, you got to listen to us, man. I'm trying to. Please help me. Get a big 31. What area do you need me? 32. We got more. I've been a cop for 35 years. Well, then you got to listen. I know. Then why didn't you listen? <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm 32. I'm with them. You can go ahead and waste your time. Let's go to the ring. Dude, I'm not going to fight. Let's get out of the ring. I'm not worried about you fighting now. I'm not. Well, I'm not going to. Reports warned that the suspect might be armed and intoxicated, urging caution during his arrest. However, these warnings proved unfounded. I don't want to do this. Do you have, do you have no, a gun or anything on you? I have you? nothing on me. I don't, I don't have my weapon. No. Sit down. While being detained, Sergeant Matheson explained that he and his wife were at a party and had an argument. He added that he was trying to call his daughter to update her on his situation. My wife and I were at a party. We had an argument. All right, That's how's he get out of the rain? That's all it is. That's all it is. Oh, no. Can you, oh, God, God. Can you listen to these, please? I swear to God, dude, I would never hurt any of you. I'm a policeman. Where at? St. Bernard. Okay, well, you have to listen. I know. You know why you know, Why would you not just do as you were told? It's not It's not that difficult. You know that. I was just calling my daughter. That's all I was doing. All right. I was making a phone call. I was calling my daughter. I just wanted her to know what was going on. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. I wouldn't hurt we'll you. We'll talk to you here in just a minute. Why would you think I would ever hurt you? I don't know you. I know you don't. I know you don't. All right, brother, we'll talk here in a minute. We'll talk here in a minute. Hold on. We'll talk here in a minute. Chief Brooke Brady of the Wyoming Police Department said that Sergeant Michael Matheson was charged with obstructing official business and was then released to his daughter later that day. On December 19th, 2023, the case against Sergeant Matheson was dismissed by the state prosecutor, but the internal investigation by the St. Bernard Police Department was still unresolved. How do you think the officers managed this delicate and awkward situation? What about the charges being dropped? Share your thoughts in the comments. And for more body cam bus videos, stay right here to keep on watching. We've got you covered.